G'day, this is Peter from the Property Club and today's episode we're looking at beach houses for sale in Cebu and the Visayas region priced from 1 to 10 million peso and that's right from 1 million peso not just a lot but a lot with a house improvements okay that's what we're looking at today house and lot from 1 million to 10 million peso believe it or not before we begin I just want to have a quick chat with you and talk about why I personally wanted to move to the Philippines so I moved to the Philippines some time ago now around about almost 12 years ago and my dream was to move to the Philippines and live a less stressful life and be a bit of a beach bum hippie and unfortunately it did not work out that way I ended up you know working in call centers various jobs um, <laughs> crazy things happened <laughs> crazy things happened uh, everything that I expected not to go wrong went wrong and ultimately I've been I've had setback after setback but I'm still here chasing the beach dream and I'm excited to bring you tonight's episode because I want to show you these properties where you can actually just escape you can escape this you know cruel world this cruel society uh, with all these rules and requirements and you know government and taxation and and ultimately slavery and you can live somewhere like this and I took this picture I actually took this picture and this was few years ago now uh, but it was the morning after New Year's Eve 1st of January I think it was in 2016 and I promised myself that morning that one day I would have a beach house so let's get started let's have a look so the first property we're looking at is this beach house in Oslob it is 411 square meters and this is the property let's have a quick look Wow, oof, just painful thinking I'm stuck here in this house and someone's living there. That's the dream. Wow. Now, there isn't a price on this property, but you know, the location is a good location. It's a beautiful white sand and turquoise water beach, and I believe you should be able to pick this up for somewhere uh, between seven to eight million peso. Okay, unfortunately some people what they do, like this agent, he doesn't tell you the price, you have to PM and inquire to get the price. So the next one, and the next one doesn't have a price either, don't worry, these, it's only these two that don't have prices listed. And usually I would not show it whatsoever, right, because it doesn't have a price. But these two are exceptions because they're beautiful beaches, really nice locations. So this is Ander White Beach, okay, um, which is my understanding not too far from Taglabaran in Bahol, and in, it's an Ander uh, White Beach. So beautiful location, and look at that beach. Again, you have to inquire. Again, I find it so funny that people take pictures of themselves when they're selling real estate here in the Philippines. Uh, it's it's more friendly in the Philippines. So let's really get started. Let's go to the listings with prices because you know we want to know the price. And yes, I did promise. I did promise and I did deliver. You can own a beach house for 1.8 million peso. Now if you're going to rent this, this will cost 25,000 peso a month to rent. Now it'd be a perfect Airbnb. It's a little kind of townhouse apartment on the beachfront in Alcoy, Cebu. And these are the pictures. Beautiful water. And I believe it's this circular shaped building. It's it's the downstairs here. It's 40 square meters. It says Rondo House massive apartment on the ground floor. Nice apartment with extras. Uh, usually rents for 25,000 pesos a month, which I mentioned. And they're selling at 1.8 million and it's located at Tinko White Beach. Okay, so that's the location of the property. Moving along. 
I might be a bit slow because I've got about 30 plus tabs open, but bear with me. Another one at Tingo White Beach. Again, 1.8 mil. This is inside El Paradiso Beach Resort. And it's this house here. This uh, little thatch hut looking house. Let me see if I could zoom in there for you guys. And, oh, a little bit too far. One back. There we go. Alright, that's the best we can do, unfortunately. And again, actually, this looks like the similar or the same development. Bit strange, because it points to this house. And then it shows you this house. I'm assuming it's actually this, this hut house here, because it actually has pictures like this. It's a little bit bigger. It's a native Bora Bora house, 60 square meters. And honestly... What I've been re thinking recently is forget this slavery and, and working hard and you know, not being able to see my son all the time and you know just working 16 hours. It's killing me. You know, get on the beach, Pete. You know, spend more time with my kid. You know, that's the dream. I love the beach. Okay, so this next one, Alcoy again, it's priced at 2.4 million and it's overlooking the ocean. Quite a modern looking home nice looking property for 2.4 million peso can you believe mate if this was in australia this would be 2.4 million dollars okay and I have rates that would cost five thousand dollars a year <laughs> anyway so this is it. it it's a little bit back from the beach it is beachside but it's on the cliff so it gets views so some people don't want to be right on the beach but they want to be very close to the beach you know, they could drive there or ride a bicycle down to the water. Maybe they want to be elevated, looking over the ocean. Um, they might be concerned about tsunamis, flooding. And look, let's face it, there's a lot of natural disasters that do happen in the Philippines. So this could be a really good option at 2.4 million peso. So the next one, Open Sun. Sea, seashore romantic bungalow and it is really very romantic it says it's only 45 square meters you can see here this is actually two units on the beachfront uh, it looks like so you'd only get one side but still it looks like a decent size and yeah it looks great I like the look inside I like what they've done uh, really giving it that beach look uh, with the stones there and the bed and the little kitchen. It's pretty cool. Uh, seen some properties like that in Boracay too. And I, I quite like this one. 2.9 million peso. It's cheap. It's dirt cheap on the beach. Okay. And this one, actually there's an installment plan for two years. If you want to pay over two years, they're going to allow you to do this. Again, it's Seashore El Paradiso. Tinko White Beach. I've got to ex explore Cebu. It, it's it's really honestly doing this series on the beachfront houses in Cebu. I've got this big grin on my face, thinking I can break free, break free of my chains, man. You know, get down to the beach. So this next one, this is a beach house at a Longo island which is Lapu Lapu Cebu not far from the city and this is only 3 million peso check it out pretty cool actually got a little cliff and a nice little bar you buy this imagine imagine this right you've got your condo in the city in Cebu or a house or townhouse in Cebu you know you live in Cebu and then on the weekends you uh, retreat to uh, Lapu Lapu in Cebu, Lapu Lapu City, and Olongo, Olongo Island here, and into your beach house, you got the bar, invite some friends around, have some drinks, it's a dream, it's a dream. And again, Filipinos, <laughs> they love to show themselves in the pictures. Well, guess what, Grandma, you're featured on YouTube tonight. <laughs> and this guy, <laughs> his shirt, <laughs> ooh. Actually, he's got a nice drop. McAllen, 18 year. That's that's not bad. They're, they're drinking a nice drop of, of whiskey there. Wow. Can I join? 
Okay, so this is a, another listing, Seashore Tinko White Beach. Actually, there are quite a few listings in this location, directly on the beachfront, and it's uh, 3 mil. It actually looks similar to the other one, but I think it is a tad different, just on the beachfront there. Beautiful. And the next one, this two bedroom fully equipped modern home near the beach, so it's not quite beachfront. This is in Santa Fe to the north. I believe Santa Fe is on uh, Bantayan Island, which is a beautiful island to explore. No, I haven't done it yet. I do need to do it. Actually, I was very, very sad because I was supposed to go to a friend's wedding um, on Bantayan Island. I just couldn't make it because of work and responsibilities of the slavery world, you know, like just being a slave to society and having responsibility and having kids, well, that's life. Anyway, 3.5 million for this one on Santa Fe. It says it is located on Bantayan Island and it's 80 square meters, nice modern home. And it's near the beach, near the beach it says. And it's a land area of 360 square meters. It says the distance to the beach is less than 500 meters so you can definitely uh, walk to the beach on this one and most of the beaches on Bantai are beautiful I've heard beautiful turquoise water okay so this is Komote Subu and this is 3.5 million and I first saw this picture on Facebook and I said oh I might skip this and then I saw that <laughs> for 3.5 five million for that beach that beautiful beach and like I said tonight I'm going to show you house and land not just um, you know blocks because a lot of people just selling lots with no improvement no house on the block this is ready to move in and look at that location I mean could you get bored of that location on that beautiful beautiful beach yes it's a small house and a small lot, 270 square meters. But geez, look at that. It's heaven for 3.5 million. Oh my lord. Wow. Okay, so the next one is, it looks like a duplex pair. So I believe it's one side. It's kind of like a Thai style. Uh, it's in Nagasubu two story for 3.6 million three bedroom two bath 68 square meters and it's in the Mazari Cove so I believe this is kind of like a you know beachside estate you know with facilities like pools etc for 3.6 million the next one and it says I thought this one had an improvement I was certain it did it did it said pre-selling house 70 square meters sleeps two for 3.7 million and look at that beach beautiful beach Alcoy Cebu that is a gorgeous beach and it includes a small 70 square meter home on a 146 square meter allotment bloody bargain that one okay so another one beach house Calypso and I love these little cute beach designs. I mean, this is just funky. It, it looks like a little sandcastle. I mean, can you imagine with, with your your lover, um, you know, retiring in a little sandcastle like this, like King and Queen, on the beachfront here in Cebu. Look at that. That's cute. I thought that was a really nice looking property for 3.8. It says it's only a one Betty, 70 square meters, and that's the property for 3.8. Very good, very good. It also has a nice pool. It says it's developed by King Arthur's Resort. So it sounds like it's uh, part of King Arthur's Resort. The Calypso Beachfront, uh, the Beach House, and uh, White Sand Beach Pasol. Very good, very good. I think long term it could be a good investment and good for Airbnb because hotels are just so expensive. Now! Whew. this villa so it's like a, an oversized apartment they're calling it a villa usually I wouldn't include 
you know, small condominiums and this sort of thing, but I, I felt this had to be included. It is an exception. It's in Alcoy. It says a two-bedroom villa, and that is the balcony. That is viewed 91 square meters for $3.8 million. Whew. Liking it. Liking it. Oh, look at that balcony. Unbelievable. Just gorgeous. Okay, this is El Paradiso Resort. There seems to be a lot of uh, properties in this uh, development. El Paradiso, near famous Tinko White Beach. A lot of properties near Tinko White Beach. Hopefully it doesn't get too overdeveloped. You can see there's a modern home, only a small home. It's 80 square meters, two bedroom, two bath. And you can see the water in the background. Um, this picture shows you a little bit better. Um, yeah, pretty good for 4.2 if you want a nice modern looking home. So this one I felt really cool. I, I felt this is awesome. What I don't like is it looks like the pool is shared and you know maybe you're trying to relax and retire on the beach in Cebu, Tinko White Beach and you know maybe people are splashing around being noisy around you but the advantage is you know you wake up in the morning and you just jump off into the pool so I mean look at the positive you know who knows some of these um, you know resorts there's, there's hardly any guests the amount of hotels I've gone to and you know the pool just seems to be empty and I get the pool to myself it's just great in the Philippines because not not all Philippines Filipinos can swim so that's a big advantage for us foreigners uh, we get to take advantage of uh, the pool and get a nice tan so that little house Looks like an A-frame home, 70 square meters for 4.5 million. Okay, so this next one is in Panglao, uh, Panglao Bahol. It's not that far from the beach. Apparently, it's a five-minute drive from the beach for 5 million in Bahol, Panglao Bahol. So Panglao is great because you've got the international airport. You know, if you're living in Manila, you can just fly into Panglao and boom. You know, go down to your house, chill at your house, and take a holiday. It might, might be the perfect holiday house for you. Okay, so another one at Bahol, priced at $5 million, And I was surprised to see some really cheap properties in Bahol. Because a lot of the properties I've been seeing in Bahol are very, very expensive. This is another example, $5 mil. This is the little house. And it actually looks like a decent build. Nice quality build, that one. I do like it for $5 mil. And that's the front, and you can tell it's right on the beachfront. And that's your view. Beautiful. Okay, so this is a huge allotment. It is 1,200 square meters, which, you know, really, the dream is to have a big lot, you know, a big lot like this on the beachfront you know you can grow your own fruit and veg you know so you can eat you know if things get rough you can still grow your own food live off the land have a, a small little farm on the beachfront how cool is this and it looks like they've got this little canal I don't know if that's man-made who knows maybe it's man-made and they've got a little uh, bunker boat or a little fishing boat or something they drag out there to go fishing you know pretty cool yeah, you can see there's there's a few little bunkers there. I think that's what they're doing there. Yeah, pretty cool for 6 mil in Cebu. And does it say where it is? It says southwestern Cebu facing Tanon Strait along the Barangay Road. And the beach has a 33 meter frontage. Next one triple house left seashore Tinko White Beach again and it's 6.5 million beautiful ocean look at that water I imagine being on the balcony and just jumping off <laughs> and it looks like just this little house here right so it's a triplex when they say triple house I think they mean a triplex I think it's just this one house not the whole house just this one side here 
again inside El Paradiso Resort. 6.5 million. Okay, so this, this is a cool property. Now this is a rush sale, okay? It's a house and lot. It's a really nice looking house. It's only 6.5 million. Okay, it's in Bohol, near the beach. And this is the house. That's a quality home. Living the dream. Living the dream. A house like that, you know, in a major city like Cebu and Manila nowadays, close to the beach, would cost an absolute fortune. There's a huge home. No, it's not on the beach, but it's a great price at 6.5 million. Very close to the beach, apparently. It's within a kilometer or two to the beach. Not bad at all. Behold, here I come. <laughs> okay, so this is a new development. It's in Danau, Cebu. And you can buy a three-bedroom, okay, three-bedroom family beach villa, 265 square meters, believe it or not, which is really sizable. And I thought, well, for 265 square meters on the beachfront for a modern villa, that's actually very reasonable. And these are the pictures. Oof. Wow. And like I said earlier tonight, I'm starting to think, am I in the right place? I mean, Cebu just looks unreal. Six million. Wow. Yeah, really starting to <laughs> rethink things. Maybe I need to explore Cebu. So, this property, and honestly, when I was thinking recently, you know, because obviously I've had some ups and downs, if you've been following the channel, you'd know, and I've been thinking, you know, get a little shack on the beach, and literally in my mind, that's what I pictured. I, found, I thought, find a cheap, you know, place on the beach and just build a little kubu hut like this, like a, a kubu house. Uh, it's more than a hut, sorry, it's a, a kubu house. Uh, build that with some fans. Um, and yeah, you know, electricity, water, as long as it's got a toilet running water, uh, basin and a kitchen, you know, electricity and water, then you should be right. This for 7 million looks like a huge lot. And it's in Hemensulan Camotes. And it says below San Francisco, Cebu, Central Versailles. Okay, price at seven million. So this house and lot in Panglao, and this is Executive Greenwood Village. Okay, and this doesn't actually tell us quite how you know how close it is to the beachfront, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I had to feature it because it is Panglao. Okay, it's a great location. And look at that house for 7.2 million. Decent looking build, very modern for 7.2. Good value. Moving along, so this one is Santa Fe, Cebu. Again, we're looking at Bantayan Island in Cebu. And this is a house, modern, 7.5 million. Gorgeous little home. 224 square meters. And you can see it is a 460 square meter lot and floor area is 224 square meters. Now it does say, few minutes away from beaches, restaurants and bars. So if you like your bars, Maybe you want to hang out at some resort in Bantayan there, have a few drinks on the beach and enjoy yourself. This could be the home for you. Are you like me right now? You're going, oof, what am I doing? I'm stuck in the house. I wish I was living on the beachfront. If you're like me right now and you're dreaming, you're just craving some sunlight and some, you know, beach. You want, you want to live that beach style dream and you want to get out into the ocean you know comment below let me know your thoughts what do you what do you think of this video what do you think about living on the beach you know the positives the negatives what do you think about living on the beach here in the philippines so there's a cute little beach house for sale for 7.8 million 
very good location in Oslob, which is a bit of a tourist location in Cebu. And that's the pool. It even has its own nice little pool there. And it does not look all that deep, which I think is a good thing for kids. Uh, good thing if you've got kids. Small little home. And that's the house there. It's a cute looking home. I like it. For 7.8. And actually it's not that little. It's 209 square meters. So it's actually decent. With a pool. 7.8 million. So again, 7.8 million beachside home furnished in Cordova. And the lot size is 520 square meters. Cordova Mactan Cebu, near Lantau Floating Restaurant and very close by to White Sandy Beaches. So this is a good little option, right? Mactan Cebu is very close by to Cebu City. Uh, you've got the beaches here, you're close to five star hotels. You might want to hang out at the new Sheraton. Uh, hang out at Shangri-La, the resorts, very close by. This is a good little option if you don't want to be too far from the city. Personally, I'd rather be further out and I'd want a house on the beachfront. That's the dream. Okay, so this is cool. This is Santan Tanda, Santanda, Cebu. And it says it's a gorgeous, gorgeous modern home with an incredible dive spot. And the pictures... Yeah, we'll just sell you. This is 8 million. I think it's extremely good value for 275 square meters. And this is the house you can see from the front. It does say that it was constructed and built in 2017, very structurally uh, sound and able to withstand typhoons. And it's also elevated for potential floods, which is definitely. Uh, an issue in the Philippines so they you can see the slab is elevated it looks like by a, at least two or three feet and look at that wow crystal waters just glazed over beautiful eight milli So the next one is a beach bungalow, open sun number 12, 8.8 .8 million. It is bigger than the other ones we saw earlier. I do probably prefer the other ones being just small and cheap and affordable. Great for Airbnb and for a holiday house. But if you want something a bit bigger that you could potentially live in, this is probably the best option for you. So 8.8, .8, it's 100 square meters. And this is where it's located. Look at that water. And I'm sure if you went snorkeling down there, you went swimming, you'd see lots of beautiful tropical fish. And again, it's Tinko White Beach inside El Paradiso Beach Resort. Seems very popular, that area. Very popular. I will have to check it out. Okay, so this one is a three beddy 200 square meter villa uh, penthouse apartment on the beachfront there. And it's in Alcoy again. And that's what it looks like. Look at that ginormous balcony. So, not sure, does it say what floor it's on? So, it doesn't actually say the floor, it just says it's 227. Square meters is the max, and this unit is 206, so this would definitely be one of the penthouses in the building. Moving along, this is three, sorry, 10 million, and it is Beach Villa Direct Seashore Tinko White Beach again. So a big allotment, much bigger allotment than what we've seen so far. Yin and Yang. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's fitted out with a bar. So it looks like it's a bit of a restaurant and bar there. So it's a bit of a resort. It might be a business opportunity here. And that's the details there. Very good for 10 million peso. Another property for 10 million <clears throat> is Maribago White Sands. Maribago Lapu Lapu. Unfortunately, it does not show pictures of the beach. Right, it just shows that. 
and that's the house so it looks like a decent sized house uh, it does not show pictures of the beach it just says white sands beach resort is across the road okay white sands villa house is what they call it for 10 mil <clears throat> now i did say one to 10 mil this one doesn't have a price it's in san fernando close to the beach um, i'm assuming it might be around the eight to ten million mark but it's a beautiful home and i thought i'd just show you, the, you this anyway look at that beautiful so there are some gorgeous properties available in Cebu. Absolutely gorgeous. Moving along, this one is another beach house in Cebu. It says Bourbon Cebu for 10.5. Again, large allotment. It's, it's half an acre, 2,281 square meters. Nice area for the kids to play. Nice little beach there. For 10.5 million. Moving along, and we're really getting above the 10 million price range. But remember, and why I'm showing you these last ones, yes, it's above the 10 million price range. But like you can see on this one, 11 million negotiable. I mean, if they've got 11 on it, especially during COVID-19, you should really be negotiating hard and get a really good price. This is in Naga Cebu. It's a little beach house. It's a nice little build right on the beach. It's a lot area of 885 square meters and a floor area of 132 square meters. Who knows? Make an offer at 7.5 million. You might get lucky. So the next one, Again, we're getting a bit up there, 13 million. I'm sure you could probably negotiate this down to 10, hence why I've included it. It's Mulbol Beach, which is very popular beach. It's beautiful. Look at this. Six bedrooms and three car parks with a terrace. So a large size property. And a pool. Beautiful. Now the last property, and yes, drum roll. This astonishing cliff-front home on Bantayan Island is a beautiful property. It's a beautiful beachfront, cliff-front home. I like the cliff-front because you're sheltered. You know, if there's a big tsunami or if there's a big uh, flood, you're not going to get flooded because you have the cliff in front of you. Um, so it is somewhat sheltered. I do like that. And this is what the home looks like. It's priced at $13 million. But in this market, you know, put in an offer, you know, less than $10 million, you would probably buy this. And it's a modern home, big deck, and look at that view. Honestly, behold, Bantayan, Cebu as a whole, beautiful, beautiful place to retire. Gorgeous home. It's like a nice modern build, high ceilings. Look at that. And I could imagine having a a little motorbike, getting around on the island, driving around to the island, to the local pub, <laughs> or just relaxing, um, maybe building some stairs on the cliff here so I could get down and swim in the water. And, and ultimately, who's going to be there? You're going to be the only one there. And that's what I like about this too. It's kind of like your own private little beach. You know, build a set of stairs down there, and you've got a, your own secluded little beach that you can go swimming with your family absolutely stunning beautiful property so thank you so much for watching really appreciate it please do help our channel by you know hitting the thumbs up button that's important sharing a video on facebook if you like the video please share it on facebook or share it in a local group uh, maybe a facebook group uh, you could be an angelese expat group or another group like subic bay expat or manila expat share one of our videos it'd be very much appreciated we do need your support and hit the sub subscribe button as well as clicking the bell notification so you do not miss any future videos thanks a lot have a wonderful day and bye for now
double thumbs up.